Mr. Peter, you are the curator of uh, this exhibition presented by Peter Posh here in Albania. Uh, when you firstly decided to, to open the, this exhibition, what was your main idea uh, to collect from, from the whole range of the works uh, Mr. Posh have, have created in, uh, in his, uh, during his artistic way to present here in Tirana? So, you know, uh, the story went back for decades because we, that it, it's a very personal side of the story that we knew each other from our boyhood, so the secondary school. So uh, I knew his activity about uh, from the beginning up to now. And uh, I wrote text about his works and so on and uh, I was invited by him and of course by the uh, Albanian National Gallery uh, to be uh, the curator of this exhibition uh, and Peter Pooch has a very nice collection so the selection was very easy because there are different kind of uh, themes, there are different kind of characters of posters. So we had to make a, 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 a good selection, some kind of uh, cross-section of his activity. So that was the main point. There are 63 pieces here in the exhibition, plus a gobelin, a French gobelin, which is, I suppose, a very unique uh, phenomenon because the original and the, the original poster and uh, the French goblin uh, are seen together so I, I really don't know such kind of uh, thing of course some paintings were soon on uh, a textile material but uh, never a poster so it's a unique, uh, interesting thing of this exhibition. Uh, talking about posters, we started to see them as a part of uh, artistic way from Art Nouveau. But uh, what do you think uh, is the position of the posters in the arts in this moment, in this con contemporary context? Yes, you know, uh, I can say it's an old story. So in the 20th century, and in the Hungarian art, it was a very exciting uh, genre. Uh, from the turn of the century, and the art nouveau, of course, uh, quite many good Hungarian artists, mostly painters, designed posters. And uh, there was a very strong period in the 1920s, uh, when the commercial uh, kind of posters uh, got a, 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 a popularity. They use it as a commercial tool. And in the, uh, uh, after the World War II, this tendency became stronger again in Hungary. That means uh, mostly the cultural posters had a, 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 a great popularity, the exhibition, theater posters, film posters, sometimes book posters, uh, got a, a, a big uh, importance. So uh, in the late 60s and the 70s, so that time when uh, Peter Poch's activity started as a professional uh, was a very good age. Today we call it golden ages. Uh, so he was one of uh, this uh, Hungarian poster artists. They had a very good group also. There is a poster just here, the OPP, uh, that is four artists named Dutsky, uh, Yazo. Oro, Oro, Dutsky, Oros, uh, Pinzei, and Pooch. So they were a very good avant-garde team at the field of the poster art. And as the time go by, uh, this activity uh, turned to a political kind of posters after the changes of the system or just in the time. And uh, 
uh, there will be a new field in Hungary, the private commercial uh, posters. For example, he had a, a really fantastic series of uh, cheese merchant. And there is some uh, five pieces or six pieces here, which shows this side of his activity. And uh, after, I made the same question to, to, to the artist Peter Bosch, after the fall of the Berlin uh, Wall, have the posters changed in itself the concept of meaning? Uh, do you think so, so the political meaning? Uh, yes, um, the 90s. 1990s were a very extremely exciting thing because uh, the posters role and the openness uh, which was in every kind of field of the social life or the life of the society uh, but uh, the second half from the second half of the 90s or better to say in the 2000s uh, this kind of optimism run out. So uh, he made uh, a political three after 2000, but it's not an official, in the meaning of political parties, uh, kind of political uh, posters, but he's a little bit sad and a little bit uh, ironic opinion about the politics, so it's a different thing. And there is another thing that in the 21st century the commercial uh, posters changed absolutely. So they are big uh, internationally uh, designed posters uh, which are the same poster everywhere. Budapest, New York, Tirana and so on. So this kind of artificial uh, poster, which is, uh, I can say, almost uh, 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 an autonomous kind of art, like fine art, went back to the museums or galleries. So it's very curious because the genre uh, grew from a, a, a commercial field, became autonomous, and goes back, goes to the museum. So that's happened. <laughs> but can uh, posters art consider it uh, a commercial art? It's, it's this uh, something profitable that can be sell as a very good painting, for example. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Uh, it's some kind of graphic art also. It's very uh, close to the photography, which are also subjects of uh, the art commerce. Uh, anyway, it's a very democratic, more popular uh, kind of art piece. So it, it's possible to collect, it's possible to, to only buy one or two pieces to decorate your space. And finally, finishing this interview, how do you see the trend of the posters art? Do you see uh, new artists trying to get into this uh, field or there are remaining only few uh, like Peter Posh, who are really giving their time to this kind of art? I suppose uh, it's very important because uh, if the original aim change, uh, that uh, the commercializing way are different, but the graphic design is a quite fundamental thing, so I suppose it will remain change, for example, goes to, uh, go to the, to the, on the internet. But this kind of uh, visual uh, effect has to know by the artist and by the audience, by the public as well. So I, I suppose it, it, it's very important. I'd like to thank you very much for being here in Tirana and to give well, this interview. Yeah.
dhe me këtë material të nderuar miqë kemi mbritur në fund të emisionit ton shik edhe për ditën e sotme. Unë ju falenderoj të gjithve që në ndoj që të ju rikujtoj që shik ritransmitoj që do të shtun para dite në orën djetë ose ju si gjithmonë mund të vizitoni faqen ton të internetit Vision Plus.tv ose faqen ton në Facebook Shik Plus. E bashkë do të ndajemi këtu, natë në mirë.